Hey guys, I just I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how I use an application called Huff, Huff Duffer. It's uh it's sort of a funny name, but I really li I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, I want to show you how I use an application called Huff Duffer, a web a website application. Yes, called Huff Duffer, where uh. What this allows you to do, essentially, is you're traveling across the internet at the speed of light. You land on something that you really like, maybe an audio file, and it may be something you'd like to listen to on your phone. Okay? So, for instance, I was just traversing across space and time, like you do, and landed on like, huh, this looks like an interesting thing. I would love to take this with me on my phone. I don't want to have to sit here and click this button and listen to it here in the browser and just go, uh, can't, move, can't move, can't go anywhere, can't take my, I could take my computer somewhere, but that's not fun to take your computer somewhere. Um, I listen to a lot of podcasts, so I'd love this to just land in my podcast app at some point, right? Well, that's exactly what HuffDuffer does, okay? I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Ready, set. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to HuffDuffer.com. You're going to click sign up, and look how beautiful this is. It's made by a real web person. Hey, my, I want my username to be Sabadaba, whatever. Fill in your things, your password, uh, your email address, all this stuff. Then you get an account, okay? So I have my account, and now what I'm going to do is uh, uh, once, you, once you sign up, you can get the Huff Duffer bookmarklet. Uh, let's see. Which one is it? Okay. So bookmarklet. Use the handy Huff Duff It bookmarklet. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take this link right here. Take this link right here and just drag it. Whoa, whoa, bam. Okay, look at that. Right there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Then, like I was saying, Traveling across the internet at the speed of light and sound. I'd like to take this audio file with me. How can be? This is how it can be. Click Huff Duff It. Oh my god, what's it doing? Oh, whoa, it's sort of like automatically populated with a bunch of stuff. That's curious. Sometimes it comes populated with stuff, sometimes it doesn't, and you have to like add things. Okay, so for instance, so well, first of all, I can just click Huff Duff It. Watch this, Huff Duff It. And it's like spinning, clearly doing something. Close, look at this, Huff Duffed. The thing has been Huff Duffed. Now that that has been Huff Duffed, where does it show up? Well, let's check. Here is my, my profile in Huff Duffer. Okay, and look at this, big comedy rock solo. Wait a second, that was the one I just, that was quick. And now what, what, what's so good about this? Well, what's so great about this is check out this little business right over here. Now I can just click here to subscribe in iTunes or in the Apple's podcast app, or I can copy this. I can go uh, and email myself like this link saying, uh, hey, podcast. Feed, idiot, and I just paste that right in there, click send, and now what's going to happen is I'm going to open that on my mobile device, my cellular mobile device, uh, copy that link right there and bring it into Pocket Casts, which is my uh, preferred app right now, uh, or whatever app that I use, right? That's only if I'm not, I, I'm, I'm, I could also just browse this page with my phone and click on the, the podcasts app thing or something like that. The point being, literally everything I find on the internet that I want to read uh, or li sorry, listen to, I don't have to subscribe to that podcast for it to show up on my phone. I can just uh, click Huff Duff It and then it shows up. Now, sometimes there's going to be files that it's actually, it won't Huff Duff automatically. Uh, for example, SoundCloud is notorious at this where it's the, the actual link to the file, to the MP3 file is obscured somehow. It's the, I don't know, fucking science. Sometimes I can do some like network things to like browse and find 
you know, some link somewhere and get it, and I'll pull up just that MP3, and do, and and then and then I'm on this page where it's just an MP3. Let's see if I can find it here. Uh, for example, another thing that I'll do from time to time is I'll is I'll rip and download the audio from a YouTube video. Like say it's an hour long talk on YouTube, I'll just rip I'll just rip the audio out of that. I'll download a video uh, of it. I'll rip the audio out of it into an MP3. I'll upload it to Cloud App, and uh, let's see, do we have one of these that's just uh, audio? And then it'll it'll basically, I'll, I'll pull up, so here's the physical text techno song with lyrics, okay? Okay, so here is, here's an audio file that somehow I found a link to. I can click HuffTuff right on this, and it's going to find it. Now I add my own title and my own description and click HuffTuff, and it'll be in there, okay? It's terrific. The point being, HuffTuffer is incredible. Uh, great tool to be able to get any audio that you find across the across the net, let alone the World Wide Web, right into your cellular mobile device, personal phone, smartphone could be an iPhone, any device like that that is a RSS, real simple syndication enabled. And now I'm just talking because I like the sound of my own voice, and I imagine you sort of chuckling, like who the fuck is this guy? What a r interesting person. So I hope you like HuffDuffer. HuffDuffer.com. Hope that explains how to use it. If you have any questions, ask, ask them in the, in the comments and I'll, and I'll try to be astute at answering them. But you know, of course, how these sorts of things go. YouTube comments, that is. They're the worst.